Hey guys, welcome back to another Ark Survival Evolved episode. We're on our Ark Operation server. This is episode 13, I think? Episode 14? Getting up there, I can't keep track of them. So we're gonna head back to the surface today. We've had a lot of really good luck with drops. Uh, Christmas event uh, is on right now. I think there's... this is the last day probably, so I figure I better capitalize on it. Have some fun. And just show you guys how to do it solo. Um, we had had a stream where we hit up the surface on the stream so if you guys are watching you've probably seen us do this already um, if not keep watching it's a lot of fun there are amazing drops and with the Christmas event it's a 40% increase in quality of drops so you can get a lot more ascendant items uh, from the drops so. we're gonna hit the surface it's just past 1 30 a.m. which means the Christmas event is activated it only activates between after midnight, and I believe it ends at is it 8 a.m. It's very limited hours anyway. So basically, what you need for a surface run, especially solo, is a really good raptor. Oh, sorry, ravager. <laughs> I think a raptor will be good enough. You want a ravager with a lot of speed. Whoa. Reaper King. Uh, if you've just tamed the Ravager, you definitely want to pump everything into speed right away. As you can see, these Reaper Kings come up behind you. They are incredibly fast. There are, of course, a lot of Nameless as well. And you've got Seekers if you do have your light on to keep the Nameless away. What you want to do is hug the walls, try and avoid combat at all costs. You want to keep these guys away from you. Use the terrain, they can't get in between all the smaller rocks. So try use that to your advantage. Alright, so we got a blue drop over here. You gotta keep an eye on the time, guys. About 5.30 a.m. is when the sun will hit the surface, surface explodes, and you will die. It's not an instant death, but it's pretty quick. You guys check out our surface base building video. You'll see exactly what the sun does. Stick a card at the top there for you guys. Check it out. It's worth watching. And, um... Yeah, you can see the effects of the, of the heat. The flames are pretty intense. They do destroy a lot of other things other than you as well. So check out the video. I find that these outcroppings of rock are good because the Reaper Kings definitely don't spawn on them. And the Nameless very, very rarely spawn. As you can see, I've got no Bulldog or Shinehorn. So I've got no Charge Light. I'm just using a... Um, glow stick just to lighten things up for you guys so you can see everything. Got the blue almost down, purple on the way. You don't want to go to the drops too soon. You want to let them rest on the ground for a couple of seconds because if you are there waiting to open the, the crate, you got a lot of nameless spawning and probably a lot of Reaper Kings. Too many Reaper Kings in one area and you're going to be caught, especially on a Ravager. you do happen to have a rock drake uh, you can do this a hell of a lot easier a lot faster the uh, camouflage mechanic really helps out and if you do get into a bind you can fight your way out pretty easily let's go check out that purple drop there is a ton of metal on the surface though, um, if you guys are having trouble finding metal or you're tired of running into the blue biome, check that out. Got that guy stuck there. Definitely try and stay up on the, uh, the outcroppings of rock. If someone does follow you up here, you can jump from one to the other and drop them into the pit. So.
Oh, we've got a blue drop over here now. Uh, if you are stopping to mine metal, um, not the best idea solo, I wouldn't imagine, but make sure you've got a lot of weight in your Ravager. They are amazing for weight because they have any any raw material you put in their inventory will be halved. So if you are carrying metal, yeah, it'll only take half the weight. So if you've got a decent amount of weight on a Ravager, which they generally do have, you should be able to mine metal as well while they're out here. Just gotta be really careful. If you're standing still too long, you will get caught. I thought I had a zip line here from the last time. No, no zip line. Still coming down. Got a yellow coming down. Drops are quite good. Gotta keep an eye on the time. Service is getting bright now. These could be the last two for this run. I will do a couple of runs just to show you guys what you can kind of get here. Runs are quite quick, depending on your server and the times you have. I think nighttime is 20 minutes on official. It's a little shorter on our server. We did set it back because on Ragnarok or the island, we like to have more daytime. It's just good for, for streaming, so we're not in the dark constantly. Better for you guys to see everything, but on this server, you need nighttime for stuff like this. So. I swore I already had one of these, but it's probably here, I just can't see it. Actually, you know what? They're probably. They're probably destroyed by the sun as well, I imagine. Zip lines can be destroyed, as I'm sure you guys know. Alright, we want to try. Try to get that yellow before the sun. It's five, so. Ah, vent's over. Alright, so 5 a.m. is the cutoff. I thought it was eight for some reason, but. It's not a bad thing, I guess it encourages you to leave, but uh, I'm going to get this last drop just before we go back. A little too soon, don't want to crowd it. Like I said, don't wait around the drops. You get stuff like this. Should be down. This is definitely absolutely our last drop before the sun comes up and fries us. Oh, Reaper King. Man, this guy just sounds scary. the flames. This is almost like a warning, they're not actually activated just yet. Check out our building video, you'll see why. No charge lights so they're easy to kill, seekers. Whoa. Oh, my zipline got destroyed, I put a little too high. Guess you want a zip line from here. I should be a zip line from. You can stand on the surface just here, but that's about it. 
check out the base build building video as I said you'll see what we've tried so far this is an alternative to the platform so we will be trying out some tech stuff soon as well alright guys uh, we'll be back we'll do another run as well to show you guys what like a couple of runs can get you it is intensely hot if you have a hazmat suit though you don't seem to feel the heat as much so as you can see my health is going down But uh, yeah, we'll be back in a minute to show you guys what a couple of runs can get you. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. As you can see, it's now midnight again. We're going to head back to the surface, do our second run. I didn't place these zip lines great, but you can't place your zip lines as you saw above the surface. They will be destroyed. Any structure will be destroyed. Alright, we got a yellow and a purple drop down over here, so we'll go for the yellow first. It's Christmas, we like presents. Very limited time in the service. I imagine even on official, you've got 20 minutes of night, but if you are using the Christmas event right now, you obviously don't have 20 minutes of pure Christmas. Flag. Um, starting, eat some mushrooms. Yeah, so limited time. If you are just doing this for, for just for your drops without the Christmas event, then you're fine. You'll have 20 minutes on official server, I believe it is, for night time. There is a Reaper King behind me. There is three Reaper Kings behind me. Our three rookies for me. Oh crap, this is what I meant. Hey guys, welcome back. So unfortunately we did succumb to our wounds as you saw, but it's okay, it's not too bad. The Ravager survived, he is pretty badass. Like I said, he ain't a good Ravager. This is one of my bread Ravagers, so he has a crazy amount of health. Like almost 12k health, a lot of melee damage. He was able to fend off the Reaper Kings until I go back on, an on another Ravager we have. Similar stats. So we got our stuff back, and we are gonna go finish off this second run. So we'll hit this blue up. I don't know how long these drops have been here. I've been just getting my stuff, so may not actually be able to pick these up in time. I'm just gonna get off this guy. Just wanna make sure he's on passive for the moment. I hit up this yellow in time as well. They were here when I got to the surface, so they're probably ready to go at any second. Up over there. Stay clear for the moment. Hang out on our little precipice. Oh, no, oh, there's a Reaper King behind me. Yep, so you can see a shadow flying over me there. Like I said, these guys are everywhere. Yeah, you seriously gotta be careful, guys. I mean, in one way I'm kind of glad I died because it was looking like it was just too easy I was actually thinking like you're watching this video thinking oh all there is a ravager and I'm like totally fine 
But uh, you can see, I mean, this is a bread ravager. I made the slight mistake of jumping off my mount. Even though I could hear something in the background, I thought it was too far away, but as you can see, smallest mistake means death. So be careful. Is that red down? Nope. Yeah, just be extra careful up here, guys. Um, if you have like a freshly tamed Ravager, you know, they're, they're not going to survive something like that. Ooh, Christmas Seeker. I don't think you can tame Seekers. Yeah, so freshly tamed Ravager, be extra careful. Pump everything in the speed and just stay on your mount unless you're absolutely sure there's nothing behind you. I'm not even going to attempt to try and get metal after that. These Reaper Kings are intense. Okay, red's almost in. Oh my god, okay, we got a little bit of time. If a couple more come down, we might be able to get those just in time. Okay, it's on the ground. You can see the light of the base gets a lot bigger when the drop hits the ground fully. Hit and run, hit and run. That's what you guys gotta do. We'll hang out in the precipice again. This blue isn't down fully yet. It's a good place to chill. said reapers and nameless don't spawn up here they obviously can't hit you from below so just be careful oh we got a yellow right there okay we Chuck a pick. I did have a Mastercraft pick, but um, apparently there's some kind of glitch with our base. It's near a spawn point, so if you die enough times, there's a chance that you'll get inside the base. Um, so someone was able to get inside of our base using that glitch, and uh, yeah, they stole everything I had on me. It was just a breeding pen, so there's no items in there. It was just I logged out there in a hurry after one of the videos. So my Mastercraft pick was taken, unfortunately. So still hoping for another one. It's four. Yellow should be fine. I'm not 100 percent sure about that blue. We might not have time. I have no charge light, so uh, they're not weakened. Yeah, I'm a little encumbered here. Transfer everything to the, to the Ravager. As you can see, his weight is nothing when you put stuff on him. And, uh, we're getting very close. Definitely gonna grab this yellow just before the event ends. I'm not gonna get that blue in time. Might get it before the sun comes up, but I think the Christmas event will be over. Again, not a huge amount of time at, at for the event or at night time here, so.
It's on the bridge, which is extra dodgy. Definitely going for it anyway. Hopefully no Reaper King spawn. Probably got about 20 seconds or something before the event's over. I'm pretty sure if you don't open it in time, it's it's not like a matter of it came down, so it's, it's okay. Come on, come on. There we go. See? It's over. Oh, we'll still be able to get it before. Come on, come on. Alright guys, that's gonna be our last drop. The sun's almost up. If there was another drop down, we could have picked it up, but it's still only coming down. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, remember, solo is definitely possible. Get yourselves a nice Ravager with some good speed. It doesn't have to be a red Ravager. And just be careful when you're getting off the saddle. Um, it's the only thing that's going to get you. Uh, even a freshly tamed Ravager with some speed is going to be faster than all these Reaper Kings and Nameless. So Get yourself some awesome loot. Um, we'll give you guys a quick look. Uh, Mastercraft Hazard Suit Helmet, that's nice. Apprentice Roll Rad. We did get an Ascendant one already. Ascendant Carno Saddle. Journeyman Roll Rat. Oh, a Mastercraft Ravager Saddle. Nice, that's gonna be good. I definitely gotta make one of those when we get back to the base. What else did we get? We got a Ramshackle pick. Not amazing, but. Ooh, Captain's Hat. I haven't had one of those before. We got some Flak recipes. Nice. Oh, some Mastercraft Flak leggings. Oh, man. Where did I go? Ascendant Rock Drake Saddle Blueprint. That is the way to go. And a Rex Bionic costume. Alright guys, we're gonna get out of here because it's getting toasty. Thanks for watching guys. Remember to like and subscribe, really appreciate it. And we will see you guys tomorrow.